Hi, I'm Justin, and my partner is Kendra. Uh, we will be discussing uh, travel expenses today. Okay, travel expenses defined. Travel expenses are more broadly defined in the code than are transportation expenses. Travel expenses include things like transportation expenses, meals and lodging, and any other miscellaneous uh, expenses. Um, also important important to point out that a deduction for travel expenses is only available when the taxpayer is away from home. This is different than transportation expenses where transportation expenses are deductible even though the taxpayer is not away from uh, the home. Also, um, travel expenses also include reasonable laundry and incidental expenses. Okay, away from home requirement. This is pretty simple. You may only deduct travel expenses incurred when you are away from your home. The crucial test to see if the travel expenses are deductible would be the quote overnight test. This means whether an employee was away from home overnight. Um, it may not necessarily mean a 24 hour period though, but it must be longer than an ordinary day's work. It must be long enough where the employee can rest or sleep, or just a relief from a work period. Uh, also to point out that's important is that a one day business trip is not a travel status and lodging and meals will not be deductible. So, um, like I said, it has to be overnight, so not one day, but that does not mean that it has to be a 24 hour period. It just needs to be long enough where the employee can get some rest. Okay, now that I just talked about the crucial test for the away from home requirement, I would like to discuss temporary assignments under the away from home requirement. Okay, in order to be deductible, the employee must be away from home for a temporary period. When you're temporarily, a year or less, working away from your main place of business, as opposed to, um, you know, indefinitely, um, your tax home does not change. And uh, temporary indicates that the assignment's termination is expected within a reasonably short period of time. Um, also, the IRS position on it on this is that the tax home is the business location, post, or station of the taxpayer. So basically, um, travel expenses are not deductible if a taxpayer is assigned a new job, you know, in a new location for an indefinite period and does not move his or her place of residence residence to the new location. Okay, now I'd like to go through an example. Um, Roy, the regional manager for a national retail drug chain is based in Detroit. During March and April of this year, he has to replace temporarily the district manager in Cleveland. During this period, Roy flies to Cleveland on Sunday night, spends the week at the district office, and returns home to Detroit on Friday afternoon. The cost of returning home is $560, while the cost of spending the weekend in Cleveland would have been $420. How much may Roy deduct is the first uh, question. And the second question would, is, uh, would your answer change if the amount involved are reversed? The trip home cost $420 or staying in Cleveland would have been $560? Okay, uh, the next slide I'll show you the answer here. Okay, the answer is, uh, you know, the key word in that paragraph was temporary. And that's basically what we're getting at in this example. And Roy's assignment is temporary, um, like it said. So the deductible portion of his weekend expenses is $420, which is the amount he would have spent if he did not go home. So um, it was temporary work. Um, and number two, uh, the answer wouldn't change. Uh, the deduction is just limited to the amount uh, that was actually spent. So that's basically it for that example. Okay, this slide is talking about the away from home uh, requirement. Um, this slide is basically concerned with determining the tax home. And the uh, tax home is the area in which the taxpayer derives his or her source of income. Um, it is possible for a taxpayer never to be away from his or her tax home. Um, in other words, the tax home follows the taxpayer. Thus, all meals and lodging remain personal and are not deductible. All right, now we'll be talking about the restrictions on travel expenses. And this is probably the most important part of uh, this section on travel expenses. And, uh, you know, to prevent practices of taxpayers using vacation and pleasure travel as deductible expenses, uh, the tax law contains uh, restrictions on certain travel expenses. So um, the following 
slides will uh, explain all the restrictions here. Okay, the first restriction on uh, travel expenses uh, to a convention. In order for travel expenses to be deductible, a convention must be directly related to the taxpayer's trade or business. So, um, here's an example here. Dr. Hill, a pathologist, who works for a hospital in Ohio, travels to Las Vegas to attend a two-day session on recent developments in the state planning. So the question is, is there a deduction allowed for Dr. Hill's travel expenses? Um, let's find out here. Okay, and the, and the answer is there's no deduction that is allowed for Dr. Hill's travel expenses. But the deduction would be allowed if the convention dealt entirely with recent developments in forensic medicine. Um, so since Dr. Hill's work at the hospital as a, since he works as a pathologist, this convention would be uh, more appropriate. Okay, if the proceedings of the convention are videotaped, the taxpayer must attend a uh, convention session to view the material. So here's an example. A CPA is unable to attend a convention at which current developments in taxation are discussed. She pays $200 for videotapes of the lectures and views them at home later. When is it a deduction for AGI and when is it an itemized deduction? And you'll find out in the next uh, slide here. Okay, the answer is the $200 is an itemized deduction if the CPA is an employee. Now, if they're self-employed, it's, it's a deduction for AGI. Okay, the code has strict restrictions on the deductibility of travel expenses of the taxpayer's spouse or dependent. Basically, they, they must serve some sort of business purpose. Um, also, uh, education, travel as a form of education is not deductible. Um, if, however, though, the education qualifies as a deduction, um, for instance, say, uh, a French teacher travels to France to maintain general uh, familiarity with the language and culture. Well, no travel expense deduction would be allowed for that. But if the French teacher is also a scholar of French literature or something like that and travels to Paris to do, say, specific research that can't be done uh, anywhere else, then the travel costs are deductible, assuming, of course, that other requirements for the uh, deducting of education expenses are met. That's the only time where uh, education can be uh, deductible.